Alrighty, uh, so Jeronism put out a video about a year ago uh, about this Kanagu Mountain. So I thought I'd do a bit of photo analysis on it. Uh, the first thing we need to do is properly identify the peaks. And we can get a few clues here because we know that the angular size of the sun is about 0 0.53 degrees. So the distance between these two points is about 0 0.53 degrees. And we know the distance from Kanagu to Aloche in France where the photo was taken uh, is 263 kilometers. So with those two pieces of information, we can work out the width of the visible peaks, which is this area here, using an angular size calculator. So we plug in our angle of the sun, 0 0.53 degrees, and the distance to it, 263 kilometers, and that gives a width of 2.4 kilometers. So if we then go and project that 2.4 kilometers onto Google Earth, so this red line here represents the width of the sun in the original image. Uh, we can pretty easily identify the peaks. The highest one here is Kanagu uh, at 2,784. The peak immediately to its left is Lower Kanagu, which has a height of 2,720 metres. And the one on the far left is called Dry Peak and has a height of 2,630 metres. Okay, so let's look at the original picture and get some pixel locations. So these will be pixel locations on the y-axis. So Kanagu itself is one, two, three, four pixels down. Uh, lower Kanagu is one, two, five, zero. Dry Peak is one, two, seven, five. And the hard horizon is 1,331 pixels down. Uh, but there's clearly some miraging happening there. So it, the true horizon may be a little higher, maybe around uh, 1,313 pixels. Right, so what I'm going to do next uh, is to try and get a ruler or a scale that we can use for the image. Uh, and that's going to be in the form of a line equation, which is y equals mx plus b. Uh, and once we have that line equation, we're able to plug in a pixel location to get a altitude. And we can plug in an altitude to get a pixel location. Uh, so Excel has a pretty nice function here where it can interpolate uh, all these data points and then it will give you the line equation over here that we need for our scale. Uh, down here it can also tell you how well those data points fit into a straight line. Uh, and 99.92% is pretty good uh, given that it's only three data points. Uh, so now we've got that line equation. Down in this section uh, we can plug in an altitude to get a pixel location or we can plug in a pixel location to get an altitude. Okay, so if we plug in our first pixel location, uh, which is the hard horizon of 1331 pixels, uh, it tells us that the altitude is 2419 meters. If we plugged in the alternate value for the horizon of 1313 pixels, uh, it will spit out an altitude of 2487 meters. So we're fairly sure that the true horizon uh, is somewhere between those two values. Um, and the fact that there's more than 2,400 metres of the mountain obscured uh, should be enough to put this to bed, but let's keep going anyway. So let's plug the numbers into the Metabunk curve calculator uh, and see what it thinks we should see if the Earth was a globe. So our distance to the mountain is 263 kilometres, uh, and the viewer height of 320 meters gives a refracted hidden of 2,532 meters. Uh, if you're someone that denies refraction, uh, then go and watch my two videos on light bending around a curve before you even bother pointing it out. Uh, I'll put the links to those in the description. Anyway, if we go back to our Excel uh, and plug that refracted hidden value back into our line equation, that should tell us where the horizon should be, uh, assuming a standard atmosphere and standard refraction. And that will give us a pixel Y value of 1,301 pixels. Uh, if we wanted to find out where sea level is on that image, we plug in zero for the altitude down here, and it tells us the pixel location of 1,977. And that is basically where on the image the base of the mountain is. So let's go and plot all these levels on the original picture. And here it is. So the red line here is our expected horizon uh, given standard refraction. These two white lines here are the 
two horizon markers that I've given. The, the lower one is the hard horizon and the higher one is the miraged horizon. This blue line down here is ground level at Mount Kanegu. So you can see that this much of the mountain is obscured by water. It's almost like there's some sort of bulge there.